friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a hyper mature cataract in some hyper mature cataracts the nucleus can't be divided into free fragments because of a stubborn leathery posterior plate this is a case of that kind let us observe the surgery by this time the main incision has been made and a side port has been made on the left side of the main incision now i am going to stain the anterior capsule of this cataract with tripan blue dye here goes the dye and now i am going to apply a bit of adrenaline preservative free epinephrine to see if the people dilates little more here goes the adrenaline and see what happens the people dilated very well by the adrenaline and now i'm going to do capsulorexis visco is used to fill up the anterior chamber this is 2% hpmc and now i'm going to use a ureta forceps to do the rexis the ureta goes in the anterior lip of the main wound is lifted up to prevent a grace of visco SPMC has been applied over the corneal epithelium for better visibility and now this is capsulorexis as i go towards 7 o'clock some milky fluid comes out but this was localized and this didn't disturb in making the rexis and now i'm going to just irrigate out the milky fluid hydro dissection is not required in such cases the nucleus is already free but little bit of hydro dissection i did in this case and the nucleus rotates nicely visco is injected again and now i'm going to introduce the tip of the fecal needle at this time i have no idea how hard the nucleus is so i go in aspirate the superficial lens matter and now i make the bevel up and try to bury the tip of the fecal needle into the substance of the nucleus and it gets buried nicely but see what happens as i try to make a crack i can't do this so the posterior plate is too stubborn to give in so i come out inject visco and i'm going to expose the tip a little more so that i can deliver more ultrasonic energy into the substance of the nucleus and now my plan is to go into the substance of the nucleus with bevel in and at a deeper plane so i engage it here go into the substance of the nucleus go really deep and then try to 
get a crack and with four five attempts I could get a crack and now I get this into nucleus make the bevel up and go into this endonucleus and I could crack this endonucleus and you can see that none of the fragments are getting free I got another good crack but still this fragment is also attached to the leathery posterior plate so I am just debulking the nucleus I could remove a portion of the nucleus here I hold this nucleus and get another good crack one more crack and one fragment has become free but at this time I had to come out because the fluid got over the PSS bottle has got finished and another bottle is being arranged I don't need the exposed part that much so I decrease the exposed part and go again at this time this free nuclear fragment is emulsified and the rest of the lens matter is still in a plate sitting on a plate and now my strategy is to peel off the epinucleus from the nucleus and remove only the nuclear portion the epinucleus will sit over the posterior capsule and it will protect the posterior capsule for some time so I'm just peeling off the epinucleus removing the nucleus and as I do this and now I'm going to decrease the vacuum till now vacuum was 400 millimeter of mercury fluorate was 40 ml per minute and now at this time the vacuum is only 250 millimeter of mercury and fluorate is 25 so during this last piece last piece of epinucleus or nucleus whatever is there we can slow down we can look at the behavior of the posterior capsule whether it is trampolining or not whether it is coming to the tip of the phaco needle is or not this time I have removed the chopper to get a more stable anterior chamber and one more precaution I took at this time is I didn't try to remove this piece of nucleus I have asked for visco this is SPMC I apply this push the posterior capsule towards vitreous and now I go again with the phaco handpiece and very safely 
I could remove the nuclear piece. The rest of the video is going to be edited. The nucleus management part of this surgery is unedited. Cortical cleanup is done. The antechamber and capsula bag is filled up with visco and a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens from Bosch and Lomb has been implanted in this case. This is Envista. The lens is dialed to keep the haptics about 90 degree away from the main wound so that I can go behind the lens and remove all the visco from behind the lens. The visco from the antechamber, antechamber angle is also removed and when we have only two side ports we can use the bimanual in this way. The irrigation goes through the main wound and lifts off the anterior leaf and the egress of BSS becomes less. And now the side port is closed. The main wound has been constructed in such a way that it will not require any hydration. The antechamber is formed very nicely and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. So whenever there is a leathery posterior plate which is too stubborn to give in, we have to be very patient, do slow phaco particularly during the last stages of surgery. We can peel off the epinuclear shell from the nucleus and use the epinuclear shell to protect the posterior capsule for some time. The thing is, we must take utmost care at every step of surgery to get the best possible outcome.